Shalom. This is Nathan Yala from the Holland Camp. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, Double Honor to the Apostles, there is a great millstone that teach you well among many other things, and peace citations to the elect that are scattered abroad, for what's the earth out there in the highways, the edges, and pushing its truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, so you can see these articles right here, man. You know, um, these are more up to date. I'm going to go into, well, actually, this is not. Um, this right here, this reads, uh, emergency alert. This means war, U.S. troops position in Taiwan. World War III just started with China. Prepare now, Patrick Humphreys News. Right? And um, it says here, Breaking news, World War III just started as the U.S. military de has deployed forces to Taiwan only a mile from China. Biden has deployed the Army and Navy to Taiwan and China is worried. Prepare now for, uh, let's see, SHTF and uh, WROL, whatever. Um, Get stocked up now on storable food and pack your bag, bug, uh, bug out bag. Start prepping for uh, the SHTF 2024. Pack a bug out bag. Be prepared. Get ready for World, uh, World War, uh, WROL. I don't know what the abbreviation is, so it's lucky for that. 2024. Watch Pat Patrick's Humphrey uh, Pepper News for urgent updates. Get stocked up on storable food and water. Prepare now for uh, uh, societal collapse and totwalk, walk, or whatever that word is. Stand firm and ye will win life. Whatever, they try to use the scriptures, right? Um, it says here, let's look at it, Luke uh, 21 and 19. Let's look at that. Um, it says here, Luke chapter 21, verse ni uh, 19. In your possession, possess ye your souls. Right? And this is really going out for the elect, man. All right? Because we've been, you know, uh, declaring this. You know, start, you know, through the spirit and the power of the Heavenly Father, okay, you know, uh, from Abba Bibbins down to the other apostles of Great Millstone, all right, that have give, been given the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, to declare the secrets of the Heavenly Father, what's going to happen, right? Because many people are in gross darkness, you know, and as they say, you know, prep and all these things, we don't prep carnally. All right, we are prepping spiritually, spiritual things, these scriptures, man. All right, because when the time comes, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to be the stability of our, of our times and the strength of our salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, as it reads in Isaiah 33 and 6, right? Because that is going to be what's going to possess our souls from... Um, from the hour of temptation, which is going to be of the Heavenly Father, right? Yahweh Bashamel Shai, that's going to keep us from that hour of temptation, which many people on this earth are going to fail, right? And it's really going on for you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, and even to Israelite foreigners of the speckled bird, the look of these other nations, okay? This is really concerning you. Because these other nations have never been given. The Heavenly Father has never made a covenant with these other uh, nations, man. Okay? He has only dealt with the nation of Israel. Alright? This is really concerning you. Okay? Because when the time comes, man, you know, many of you are going to fail. Why? Because you didn't take heed. You didn't want to listen. And the times are really proven. You know, we just had the Passover. Right now, we're in the time of... Uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread. All right, so make sure that, you know, the things that you eat don't have yeast in it. All right, be sure of that. All right, because, you know, you got Satan out there trying to get you to forget. 
you know, about what you're going to eat. And, um, yeah, these are the times that we're living in. You know, the Passover just happened. You know, it was a very uh, solemn assembly. It's very serious. All right. Um, and, you know, it's a time when the Lord passed over. Well, guess what? You know, as we are now going into the actual so-called, you know, what they say, New Year's from before, this is the actual New Year. All right, the Passover, the beginning of a new year, right? And, you know, we really hope that this is going to be the year of Jacob's trouble. Okay, um, let me pause it real quick. Right, so, you know, this is a, you know, a time where we really hope that this is going to be the year of, of Jacob's trouble. Okay. Because this world is, is not really thinking about or even considering the words of the Heavenly Father. The only thing that this world is really worried about is, you know, their self-gain and, and, and the things that they're doing right now, okay, rather than taking heed. And that's going for the world of Israel, all right? The rest of this world, man, it's, it's, it's about to be done away with. But for, you know, Jacob, all right, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, which are, you know, the children of Jacob, because Jacob's name was changed to Israel, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel today, okay? You know, there's, there's going to be a time of, of, of distress, a time of, of great trouble, all right? Because this third world war, okay, is really about to take place. And guess what? Just like, you know, these Edomites, because, you know, these Edomites, they're making this article, they're not crying out, to everyone, they are actually talking about, you know, these doomsday preppers, this majority of them are Edomites. Because Jake out there in this world, they're not really worried about what's going on. But these Edomites are preparing, all right, for what's about to happen. Okay. It says here, you asked, what if the, it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You ask, what if the Chinese were on an island next to the U.S.? Then you said we would be freaking out. Well, well, the Chinese are here. They are called illegal immigrants. You see, and that, that's another way for Esau Edom, the so-called white man, to justify what he's going to do also against towards these uh, um, immigrants because... There's an agenda going on right now. Uh, also, there was a video of uh, these Haitians, right? Which we know it's a tribe of Levite, okay? That are that are uh, uh, making themselves over to uh, Florida, all right? And that the Florida also made a warning that they're not going to be able to help with this problem, okay? That also in that video, that this video that I saw. They were the Haitians uh, were in a boat and they took the American flag and they dunked it in water in a in this. And it was like a large boat, like somewhat of like a yacht right behind these Edomites. Uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, Coast Guard right behind them. And they weren't doing nothing about it. So there's an agenda. OK, for Esau Edom to get riled up, to, you know, and that's what the Heavenly Father's doing. He's stirring things up. With that old spirit of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, all right, to act uh, accordingly to what the Heavenly Father wants. Because, hey, you know, these people that you call civilized are not civilized, never have and never will be. And you're going to see that here very soon, especially with you Jakes out there in this world, okay, that think that the so-called white man is your buddy. They're going to really show you who they uh, who they really uh consider a buddy okay the scriptures uh, talk about it man because it says here in um, Isaiah is it 13 is Isaiah 13 and 14 and it shall be as a chaste row chase row and as every that's like an and as a sheep that no man taketh up, they shall every man turn 
to his own people. Let me read again. They shall every man turn to his own people and free flee everyone into his own land. Because the times that are going to come, it's going to get so bad. But guess what? People are going to get caught up and they're going to turn to their own people, right? <laughs> but it's going to be too late, man. You're going to see chaos beyond that, what this earth has ever seen before. But that that's already happening now. Now it says here, everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Okay? So if you thinking that you you know these other nations are your friend, when that time of, of, of distress, the time of famine come along, okay, you're going to be thrust through. The scriptures say, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. So if you think the so-called white man is your buddy, you're going to find yourself being thrust through. As it says here, everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Okay, fall by the sword. And it says here, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Because we're heading into these times that are to come. Okay. Well, I think that was pretty much it for the article. It was pretty short. Alright. So Esau, Edom. Okay. It's really showing you, hey, times is about to change here very soon. And... These Edomites that are getting ready, man, they're, they're, they're teaching their children how to set up grids, right? How to um, use firearms from pistols to shotguns to assault rifles, how to reload, how to start a fire, okay, how to get water, okay? Showing all these survival skills while our people out there are acting like fools, man, Okay. And when this war begins, you know, which was already beginning, all right, this society is going to collapse, just like how it happened in World War III. Okay, what happened? Society collapsed, man. Okay, and in the 1920s, is going to be nothing compared to what's going to happen here very soon. That What they call the so-called uh, the, the so Great Depression. That's going to be nothing compared to what we're about to be facing all right, so this is Revelations chapter 11, verse 14. What is it, verse? Yeah, verse 14, and it reads, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And we see that going on, man, you know, uh, concerning with Russia. Russia also declared that they are in war now. They declared that they're in war. Let me see. Let me go find it for you. This article right here, it says, emergency war alert. Russia declares war. NATO jet scramble, blackout in Ukraine. Canadian prepper, right? Which is a, I don't know if he's a Jake, maybe a tear. But uh, it doesn't matter, you know. The thing is that this is what's actually going on. It says, it's awful strange how just a few days ago, the U.S. warned U.S. citizens to stay away from the all Russian music venues just seems a little weird. Something smelling funny. Something smells funny. Here in Europe, it's beginning to get very real, meaning ignorant, nay, sayer, even though uh, now discussing. There are two things which you better believe. It was not ISIS, and Russia will retaliate with fuel, full force. Remember Obama just went to visit Sanuk in London the other day? I wonder if this was the tap on the shoulder that the CIA was ready to go. So sad. Innocent civilians suffer most. That has nothing to do with their leaders and uh, political conflict with other nations. All right. So a lot of things is going on, man. All right. Now, going back to the, the verse, uh, Revelations 11 and 14, and it reads, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Right? And we have been warning y'all, time after time, that these things are going to occur. And, you know, you didn't believe it then. And now that, you're getting, that we are getting closer and closer to it, 
Now, these people that want to call us tinfoil hats, uh, want to call us crazy, you know, all these different uh, derogatory terms are quiet as hell. Right? Quiet as hell. But that's okay, man. And, you know, people say that, you know, World War II was a long time ago. That's far from the truth, man. Far from the truth, man. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, and it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And the wars that we see going on in Ukraine, different parts of this world, also with uh, between Iran, this other country that was also having war there, I don't know if they still do. You got um, war in, 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 um, in Israel right now. Okay, there's a lot of things that are going on. And people don't really take take anything in consideration and how serious this thing is. All right. And now America is in the border of China, uh, China with uh, Taiwan. America's all, you know, provoking. Also, you got France. Let me grab that as well. Right. So here you got the French army prepares to send ground troops to Ukraine. And what did what did Russia say? You you any NATO that goes into um the Ukraine, okay, that is, that they're going to go to war. Russia is not playing anymore. And that shows you that what it talks about in um let me grab it really quick. I'm going to get back to that. Um, this is Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 1, and it reads, And the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came out to me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. Right? So Gog and Magog, that's the land that we know as Russia today. Okay? It used to belong to the Japhites. Okay, and say, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tobol. So the Most High is not with them, even though that they think that they're going to be the next power to rule. It's far from the truth. The Heavenly Father is bringing in judgment, and that's going to come with this third world war, as we know as Armageddon, which means mountains of troops. Okay, and it reads here, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, okay? And that's what you see going on, all right? Because Russia before didn't want to have war, didn't want to have problems, didn't provoke anything. They were minding their own business, doing things, okay, to improve themselves. But as you can see, America and NATO continually surrounding Russia over the time periods. There's, a, there's videos of time lapse concerning the lands that are around Russia, how they slowly surrounded Russia and that's a declaration of war okay anyone that comes to the border is a declaration of war okay not of peace right because they're confederate with one another uh, it says here um, they will they was but it says here and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth and all thine army Horses and horsemen, all them, all of them, clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So that's that's the military forces with their tanks and jets, and okay, their military superior superiority. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it that at that, you know, um, military might. Okay, I'm just gonna say it like that with their military might. Okay, that's what it's talking about. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with them. As you can see that uh, Russia is backing them up, strengthening them. Okay, providing what? Military equipment. All of them with shields and helmets. Okay, Gomer and all his bands in the house of uh, uh, Togarma and the north quarters and all of his, all of his bands and many people with thee. With thee. Be thou prepared. And prepare thy, uh, for thyself 
thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. And that was Russia is doing. He's being a guard unto these other smaller nations as well. Okay? So you can see that the Heavenly Father is starting stirring things up and getting this third world war going, man. All right? Now, this uh, article says French army prepares to send ground troops to Ukraine. However, the international situation evolves. The French people can be certain their soldiers will respond to the call, Shield declared, to defend itself against aggression and defend it, its interest. The French army is prepared for the most difficult fighting. And what interest is that? Right? And you see this man right there? That man right there is an Amalekite. Okay. Just to let y'all know if you didn't know. Okay. Um, it says here. Um, letting the fact, letting, letting that fact be known and showing it. He added, he stressed that France can deploy 20,000 troops within 30 days. Shield did not explicitly mention the war in Ukraine, but there is no doubt as to what his target was. Three weeks ago, Mark Macron said he did not exclude sending European troops to the Ukraine since then. Macron made off the record comments that he wants to send guys to the strategic port of Odessa in South Ukraine. These statements confirm that Macron and the French Army Command intend to tra uh, trample underfoot deep working class opposition to war. Polls that came out after Macron threatened a ground intervention show 68% of French people and 80% of Germans opposing Escalation, however, the European imperialist powers are pressing forward as in the 1940s or 1939, right? World War One, World War Two, A long path ending in total war, you know, and history repeats itself, right? As they say, but the scriptures say there's no new thing under the sun. Also on Tuesday, Sergei, Sergei, the head of Russian military foreign intelligence told TASS that French plans to send troops to Ukraine. Russia has information showing that France is preparing to send military uh, contingents of 2,000 men to Ukraine, TASS wrote, citing, I don't know how to pronounce his name, the current ruler of the countries are not moved by the de deaths of ordinary French people or concern of generals, of the generals. French generals fear that such a large military unit could not be transferred and stationed inside of Ukraine without being detected. This unit, he warned, will become a high value and legitimate target for the Russian armed forces. The French defense ministry replied in the replied in the, I don't know how to pronounce that, warning, calling them irresponsible, provoke, uh, provoke provocation from Moscow. But the maneuver uh, orchestrated by Sergio, leader of the Russian foreign intelligence, show again how Russia systematically resorts to disinformation. We consider that such provocation are irresponsible so as you can see that they're 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 you know the heavenly father is putting a spirit on these rulers okay to provoke russia into war because it says here in proverbs chapter 21 verse 1 and it reads the king's heart is in the hand of the lord right and you know a king is a, what a ruler and the word here heart in the hebrews lab meaning the mind so the mind of these rulers are in the hands, the hand of the Heavenly Father, 
right? As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Okay? So, this is actually what the Heavenly Father is getting uh, uh, this thing to, you know, uh, be provoked and initially going to end up in a, in a, in a world war. Okay? The third world. The third world. Okay, the second one has passed and the third one cometh quickly, as you can see here. Now the French Defense Ministry denials are a pack of lies aiming to lull the public to sleep amid the danger of nuclear war. Right? And we got to understand that, that when Russia declared war, that is a uh, um, he can justify attacking um, um, and say that he's defending himself by using um, uh, what is it? Biological weapons at his at his arsenal. Because when you declare war, you're able to use these things, right? It's a declaration of war. ICBM missiles, okay? And that is that this is exactly what's going to happen. And, and and Putin is not playing, man. Putin is not playing at all. You know, and they got a bomb. It's called Satan too. Which could destroy all of France with just one missile landing on that area. It's got so many, I don't know how many warheads it got within that missile which can destroy all of France. But they want to fight against Russia. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you know, this, this is how we know that Esau, this is the end of Esau's kingdom. Which is beautiful. It says here, Macron's statements has made clear Paris is planning to dispatch considerable forces to Ukraine. Many reports, including a leaked tape of German officers recording by Russian intelligence, show that Britain and France already have troops on the ground. On March 14th, for the 25th anniversary of Poland's joining NATO, Polish Foreign Minister Rod... Uh, Rod, Rod... I don't know how to pronounce that name admitted that NATO already has forces in Ukraine. Soldiers of NATO countries are already in Ukraine. And I would like to thank the ambassador of the countries who take such a risk. He did not name the countries who have sent troops to Ukraine, declaring that Ukraine's no better than anyone else who is involved. Why is the defense minister issuing these irresponsible denials against Russian warnings? Undoubtedly fears at home that statements like Narishkin's will heighten mounting concerns and awareness in the population of the risk of total war. And that's what's coming to this earth, man. Okay. The second war is passed and the third one cometh quickly, man. Now this is Matthew's chapter. It's not good. Matthew's chapter twenty-four, verse six, and it reads, "And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars." You know, and this is one of the rumors: third world war. Right? You got America over there by uh, China, by the the Taiwan and Chinese border. You got NATO, okay, that already got troops in Ukraine. They say. And also planning on send more troops into Ukraine. Russia declaring war. You know. This is a time where, you know, people, you know, of course, you know, they would they rather get rocked back to sleep, but that's far from the truth. Because there's every everybody's about to be, you know, <laughs> get messed up because soon we're about to see a total collapse of society. Drafts happening, people being sent off into war, right? Total anarchy. We're going to see uh, uh, military boots on ground, right? Because it's not going to be no policing. It's going to be martial law being declared because of uh, civil riots leading to civil war. You know, it's not that many police. It's underfunded. So a lot of things is about to happen here very soon. Okay. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So we are not to be troubled that we see these things occurring right now, as people are. 
prepping and doing all these kind of things and, you know, trying to apply scriptures to themselves, not knowing that it's actually talking about the elect. All right. Because the elect are the ones that have been ordained from the foundation of earth. All right. The elect, which is scattered throughout the four corners of earth, one third in America and innumerable multitude of the children of Israel are going to be the ones that are going to be delivered by the Heavenly Father through his son. OK, not the other way around, not any other way. That is not the gospel. That is not the gospel of the Bible. OK, and many want to uh, uh, believe the other thing, but, you know, this Bible was not a Western Westernized thing. This Bible came from the Middle East. As they call the Middle East, which is not really a country or a location. It's just a direction. OK. But it came from that area, as they say, okay, you Edomites, you so-called white people, you took it and you westernized it and you want to try to transform it. But now the true gospel is out there, man. The gospel meaning good news, only good news for the children of Israel, the ones that truly believe in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai. Okay, but for the rest of y'all, man, it ain't no good news. This, this song is not pretty for y'all because, hey, it's the end of your world, man. It's the end of your world and you're going into captivity, man, after this third world war. That's what's going to happen, man. A lot of y'all are going to be put to death. The ones that are left behind, okay, because it's going to be a good, good portion, all right, that's going to be left behind, right? And you're going to be gathered up and go into captivity, man. Simple as that, man. Simple as that. Because, hey, guess what? For you the nations, man, the children of Israel got the victory, man. Starting through the elect, man. The 144,000. 12,000 out of each tribe of Israel. 12,000 out of each tribe of Israel, okay? Got the victory. Like it or not, man. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine. Famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, right? Because, hey, you're going to have race riots, which we already see happening, racial tensions. All right, we see famines already happening, man, you know, due to this inflation. For example, you also have Venezuela as a clear indication of what's really coming to this earth, man. But much worse, right? Because these other first world countries never had to deal with these kind of situations, you know, you got a lot of useful eater, useless eaters, you know, people that are very dangerous, you know, and, 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 the, and a person that, you know, is very insecure about himself and nervous, you know, and hey, man, you're going to see a lot of a lot of treachery going on upon this earth, man. All right. Now, jump into verse 33, and I'm going to close it out on this right here. It says Matthew 24 and 33, and it reads, so likewise, ye, I mean, you shall see all these things. Know that it is near, even at the doors. So, you know, we see these things going on, right? You got the servants of prophets throughout the four corners of earth, man, preaching the words of the Heavenly Father, letting you, showing you what's going on, man. Letting you know, man. All right? We're not, we're not sugarcoating it. We're not making it to, all right, to um, out of our own emotions, okay? These are the words of the Heavenly Father, man. These are the things that are going on and are going to happen. Rather you like it or not, rather you want to hear it or forbear it, man. All right? So just understand, man, soon it's going to be here before you. And and there's not going to be anything to do to stop it, all right? Because the words of Heavenly Father is not going to go out void, man, but be fulfilled. All right? This third world war is coming, and it's coming quick. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, I want to give double honesty to the apostles, the others are great millstone that teach and rule well among many other things, and peace of citations to the elect that are scattered abroad for winds. Shalom.